So you have this clip from a movie, TV show, or maybe you found it on YouTube or TikTok that you'd really like to show your church as a teaching illustration. The question is simple. Is Facebook or YouTube going to shut down our live stream? Yep. Okay, so if so, is there a way to get a license for these types of things so that we don't get shut down? Nope. Okay, that might not be the answer you were looking for, but I'd like to show you how to set up ProPresenter 7 so that when your operator clicks to play the video in question, the live stream will not show this video or the audio on the stream layer. Instead, we will either show a graphic that explains to the audience that we are gonna be right back, or show some other creative elements. That could be a good solution, but not if everyone clicks away when this happens. So I also have some other ways to reduce the number of viewers that leave. Hi everyone, my name is Nathan from Crazy Amazing Designs. I help teams and individuals do church and event production with excellence. Thanks so much for checking out this video. The best way to show content on your live stream or in person is to license it. Services like CCLI will license the rights to show videos in facility, but not for a live stream audience. Then there is the fact that Facebook and YouTube use automated copyright detection systems that they don't know nor care about the licenses or permissions that you may or may not have. They just analyze content online to find stuff that shouldn't be there, then shut down your live stream. Then maybe ask questions later. The problem is that later is definitely after your Sunday gathering, conference, or streaming event is over. There's never a good time to have a live stream shut down and it always happens at the most inconvenient times. So the best solution is to set up ProPresenter 7 to keep copyright content out of our live stream. What we wanna do is create a look and for this purpose. I'm going to call this look copyright. I'll leave the main output alone and on the stream out, I'm going to set a new theme. Let's click the plus in the top right and make a new theme folder called extra to store our theme. Then in the theme editor, add a new slide called copyright. This new slide will be what our online audience sees while the video plays in person. We can go ahead and add a graphic to this slide that will be shown on the stream layer while the copyright video is playing to our audience. So I'll drag and drop the quick graphic I made, or I can use the fill media to get the graphic onto this slide. This method is limited to showing still images, but I have another solution to show videos and music. Now let's close the theme editor, and now back in the looks editor, pick the copyright theme slide we just created. Whoa, okay, so people ask me how I know all this stuff, but honestly, I just know the principles of how all this works, and then I basically figure out what I wanted to do. Now that I have figured this out and set it up, I have updated the ProPresenter 7 template that I have for sale on the store on my website. So it now contains the copyright look and then the macro we'll make in just a minute. So go check out crazyamazingdesigns.com to download the master template to easily and quickly set up ProPresenter 7 on your computer or new machine. So now back out in the main ProPresenter screen, in the bottom right, we can click plus to create a new macro. We're gonna call it look copyright, and we can right click add action and set up our audience look, which is gonna be our copyright audience look. Okay, so the content we show on screen in this moment is important because the goal is always to keep the viewer engaged so that they don't leave. The first question is how long is the intermission? Showing a 10 second video in person that we don't have permission to show online is completely different than having a guest speaker who speaks for 45 minutes that we can't stream. This is why it's important to have the capability to send stream specific content to our live stream. ProPresenter 7 is not designed to have completely different content being sent to a bunch of outputs. So to show a video with audio on the stream while a video is playing in person, we need to play back content on the streaming graphics computer. The easiest solution is probably to do what we just talked about and then post a link to the content in the description or the video comments. But again, this would encourage viewers to leave, which I don't recommend. So retain viewers, we ultimately need motion at minimum and ideally continued interaction. A still graphic with no sound will leave the viewers wondering if you forgot about them. Soft music is a nice touch, gentle motion in a graphic would also help things feel like they're moving. If you are showing a video that can't be shown online, then you could add a countdown timer to show the online audience when the video slash intermission will be over. The goal is to continue finding ways to engage with your audience. For example, what about that 45 minute guest speaker we were talking about? 
The simple graphic we set up is perfect while we're showing that 10, 30, or 60 second video, but sometimes we have more extended circumstances. Let's say you have a guest speaker that has 45 minutes to speak and their presentation can't be streamed online. In that time, 100% of our viewers are going to leave when they realize that there's gonna be no content for 45 minutes. So you could instead show the audience other content. If possible, maybe even record a few minute video that morning with the, your pastor and the guest speaker. This gets the online viewers basically a dose of what is happening in the room and gets them excited about the missionary they and your church are supporting. This could even lead to exclusive online content, which I think is pretty cool. Back in the day, my brother and I recorded a weekly show called Table Talk, exclusive to our online viewers at our church. Check out the link in the card or description. You can see how we did the behind the scenes of that show, how we actually used ProPresenter in a really cool way to make that show happen, and it was a lot of fun to record every week. So now to fill the rest of the time, sharing a pre-recorded message from your pastor or go back through the archive and find a message that most people haven't really seen. If you don't want to get the timing perfect, it might be best to take some pre-recorded worship and then just end the service with pre-recorded content. I love a good video illustration, but I think it's not worth losing your live stream privileges due to a copyright infringement. In the end, I have one other solution for you. Let's say you have gotten permission and you have obtained a legal copy of the video that you'd like to share. There is still no way to either tell Facebook or YouTube that this content is legal to show on their platform. The one and only way to ensure that you will not get shut down for streaming this content is to use a platform like Resi or Boxcast that offers streaming straight from their servers to your church's website. This is a stream that you own and therefore will not be shut down. Resi and Boxcast offer plans to stream to social media platforms, so once the stream leaves their servers, the same copyright rules will apply. If you do check out Resi or Boxcast, let them know that Nathan from Crazy Amazing Designs sent you. Thanks so much for watching, and thank you for joining me on this journey of helping teams and individuals do church and event production with excellence. Like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel to follow along. See you in the next one.